It's time for the Ryan Report on Atlanta's big station, V103. It is the People's Station B103 and the Ryan Cameron Show. It's time for the Ryan Report. Ryan Cameron, of course, is on vacation, so I'm filling in. Make sure to log on v-103.com because we are taping this as we speak, and uh, we like to pretend that it's live, but it's absolutely not. I want you to go on because I'm going to tell you there's a, a big reason to log on in just a couple of minutes. But first, the album everyone's been talking about, at least around the studio, Jill Scott. She did a special performance yesterday for the V103 listeners. Frank Ski and Wanda, of course, hosted it where she was talking about her new album, The Light of the Sun, and doing a little performing. And I've got a clip. Apparently, a man decided to sing a little opera to her. It was his birthday. She got into character and sang right back. Here's Jill Scott singing a little opera. Bravo, signor padrone. Ora incomincio a capir mistero. Beautiful. Happy birthday. <laughs> you know what I mean? I get into character with whatever voice I got at the moment. You know, I keep finding new ones. There it is. Now, Jill recently told a newspaper, get this, that the reason that her and her first husband split up is because he stopped eating her food. She says, one of the reasons me and my ex broke up is that he just flat out stopped eating my food. He was mad for other reasons, but the best way to show me was by leaving what I'd made for him uneaten for days on the kitchen counter. It was a smack in the face shortly after they split up. And then, of course, she had the baby with the drummer, Lil John. And then, of course, they split up as well. Guess he didn't like her cooking either. But you'll definitely like the music. So pick up the light of the sun today. All right. Uh, we've all been wondering what's going on with Mariah Carey's kids, right? No? Okay. Well, I have been. Everyone wants to see little Moroccan Scott. Is that the baby's name? Monroe and Moroc? Whatever. Uh, everybody wants to see the twins. But apparently, at least according to sources, the reason you haven't seen them yet is because Nick and Mariah want an exorbitant amount of money to show the pictures. Now, I told you before, Brangelina, Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, they got $14 million from OK Magazine to show their twins back in 2008. They're saying Mariah has been shopping the pictures for millions of dollars, but uh, unfortunately, uh, no one's offering more than 200 grand. I say unfortunately, that's more than most people will make in three years, so it's not too unfortunate, but they're saying that uh, they're not buying it so far. They don't want it. Uh, they'd like to have a little bit more money and they'd like it to be a very tasteful mag. So we'll have to wait a little bit longer to see what happens with the twins. Don't have to wait too much longer to find out what happened to Rick Ross. This is unbelievable. Log on to v-103.com right now. He has officially joined the face tat people. Now, I know he has the little, like, diamond. He has his he has his Maybach Music logo on his face as well. He's now decided to apparently add his favorite eyewear company. This is what happens when you just have so many tats you stop caring Rick Ross has added a Kazal, you know, the, the glasses, the eyewear company, a Kazal tattoo right under his face. Check it out. Uh, he's doing commercials on his face now. This is great. Unfortunately, he didn't do it on his body, which would have been more like a billboard. So I think he probably should have done that as well. Speaking of billboards, all this is being brought to you by DNK Suit City. This week, get three suits for just $150. Pay around $450 at the mall or $150 at DNK. It's your call. Save those racks. It's the People Station V103. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know.